Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Throwback 4D Tutorials. I am your host, Kevin. Every 90s kid will remember this project for today, the iconic Etch a Sketch. The Etch a Sketch has been one of the most famous art merchandise around the world and on this project, we're going to give it a reboot using one of our latest Gen 4 products, the Gen 4 Micro LCD 50 DT. The project will still be using the same mechanic as the iconic Etch a Sketch. We will be using two potentiometers to control the X and the Y axis of the sketch pad. And as an added feature, we also included an easy clearing button and a screen capture button. We will be using our Gen 4 Micro LCD 50DT display. It is one of our latest line of products here in 4D system. The Gen 4 series aims to improve its adaptability to its users' casing or prototypes. The GPIO pins have been redesigned to easily adapt to its users' needs. So let's start by gathering our components. First up, we need two pieces of 1 kilo ohm potentiometer, a breadboard, a couple of jumper wires, and our new Gen 4 PA breakout board which will serve as the input and output connector for any other external components. It is also incorporated with the previous PA5 programming board so it's an all-in-one board for our projects. Lastly, our newest Gen 4 Micro LCD 50DT loaded with a Joblo 16 processor. Now let's get a move on with our code. Overall, our code is pretty much straightforward. The first part of the code only displays the included library, the variables called, and the SD card search routine. In the preceding part of the code, you can observe the initialization commands such as the enable of touch activity, initialization of pins to accept analog values, and displaying initial widgets. The program reads the values on both the potentiometers. Then, it executes the subroutine function for mapping the potentiometer values by using the internal float functions for the Diablo 16. Through this, the exact point of the X and Y can be determined and draw a point there. All of the LCD display, programming modules, codes, and supporting documents used for this project can be found in our website. That project was very easy, right? So go ahead and give it a try. You can also try improving your products by using our latest Gen 4 LCD products. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch out for more videos.